In week 14, we went over Adobe Animate. And in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to create a new scene. And this will be doing advanced look at the properties and tools as well as tweening. So I'm going to have a primitive oval with a color and a stroke. I'll make this green and the stroke black. Make it nice and big on the screen so you can see it. Again, this is an object. See, it's, uh, it's set up as primitive, but let me see something real fast. Yeah, see, I can't do the morphing to it because of, yeah, it's a primitive tool and it's set up that way. Now, I've got, when I select it, these are my properties, and you'll see start angle, end angle, close path. You wait a second for it to do that, and you can get pie charts and Pac-Man looks like that, plus the inner radius. So we'll go over that in a second. So let's say I have this set up right here, and over the course of half a second, I'm going to insert a keyframe. So I selected the frame, because this is everything you import except for like video, will be just one frame because it's traditional animation. It's set up that way. So if I do insert keyframe, I now have this gray space in between them. So now, if I've got this keyframe here selected, and I've got my art set up, so if I change my start angle like that, and I change my inner radius like that, I've got just two frames because it's set up like traditional paper, like flipping back and forth like a flip pad. If I go in between the two keyframes, and I right click, and I do create shape tween, now you're going to see this green bar and the shapes tween over time. So if I click in the, sh in the tween area, I can adjust my easing. So if I ease it 100%, we're going to get a different type where it's going to ease in and out of those two areas. So that is setting up your tweens, keyframes, and a close look at some of the deeper uh, tool palettes for the circle, I mean the oval tool.